Minneapolis police are searching for the driver responsible for a deadly hit and run. Police found a man dead in a snowbank along South Cedar Lake Road and Lake Nokomis Parkway. No word on the type of vehicle police are looking for. A man also dead after a shooting at a Minneapolis homeless encampment. Officers responding to the shooting in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood this morning. Circumstances around that shooting are still unknown tonight. City Council Member Jamal Osmond is calling on state leaders to do more, saying the state has, quote, willfully ignored and disregarded his community. He goes on to say, I call on MnDOT to work with the city of Minneapolis to close this encampment as soon as possible. The residents and I, he says, deserve better. That encampment murder wasn't the only shooting to happen in the last 24 hours. In fact, there were three shot last night and many more over the last week. Now, all of this catching the attention of many residents who worry about a violent trend. Fox 9's Karen Scullin looks into the start of the new year. Seven days, 16 people shot. This includes three of what are considered mass shootings. Three or more people shot. Last night, in an apparent carjacking, Two victims and a suspect were hit. The suspect died. Just shows the, you know, the, the crisis that we're facing. We already live in a country that has more guns than people, and there's 10 to 20 million more guns entered into circulation each year. The community outreach group, A Mother's Love, responded to last night's scene, heartbroken but not surprised. It's not just about uh, gang issues. It's the carjackings. It's the you stepped on my shoe, you looked at my girl, it's the drug robberies, it's so many different reasons that these shootings are happening and that's why it's harder to get a handle on it. But Minneapolis Commissioner of Public Safety Cedric Alexander says while it's a rough start to the new year, he does not believe this is a sign of any kind of pattern developing. They could have happened a month apart just as much as they've happened in succession of each other over the last couple of days. So uh, we're just going to continue to bear down on what we're doing. But it appears, from a little I know at this point, none of them have any connection to the other, you know. The solution to all the gun crime is never easy. Clemens points out, though, that there are dozens of good groups doing good work in Minneapolis that are getting city funding, but the groups don't work together. Sometimes there's overlap, and that's a problem. But if there's no communication, we're not sitting at a table as Boots on the Ground Outreach, having some discussion about who we're working with so that we can maximize the help to that family. We're not building any wealth. We're, we're just chasing our tail. In the criminal justice system with the revolving door, we chasing their tail too. MPD took a record number of guns off the street in 2022, and much of the violent crime did decrease last year. Alexander said even with that, there will always be more work to do. By no way do we consider ourselves we're out here high-fiving. Uh, public safety is a day-by-day -day, uh, experience. And the numbers wax and wane. In Minneapolis, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.